So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I bring you a complete guide on how you get all five pieces, yes five, pieces of the Grave Bird armor set. And just looking at this thing guys, you've got to agree, this is some of the best looking armor in the entire game. It really is, this trip is unreal. And yeah, I've been collecting it over time because it's spread out in random locations. But today, guys, I've been doing all in one video guide of where you can get this incredible set. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So, first things first, I don't want to ruin it for players who haven't progressed the game that far yet. To get the helmet, guys, you need to come to um, Ena Elam. Let's just put it that way. And to get here guys you obviously have to be Mesmer, you have to be uh, or defeat the Saint of the Bod. You have to obviously get to that beyond that point of no return and you get to this area right here. If you can do that then you can get this in full uh, armor set. If you haven't done that yet you will miss out on the helmet. But other than that guys, that's basically it. Look how cool this shiz looks. Now the helmet does do some, um, I can't remember what it is. Okay, so empower spells which summon rings of spectral light. So yeah, pretty cool. I don't think anything else does anything cool. Um, oh, it enhances jumps, jumping attacks. Oh my days. So that's badass. They all must do something then. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, still pretty badass. And then we have the legs which don't do anything either. Now there is actually a second chest piece which is what I meant by five. So we also have one without the wings. Now why would you want one without the wings? Uh, why would you want one without the wings? And this one actually guys doesn't um, enhance jumping attacks. I've seen many bleed builds where they're using that jump, uh, jump, jump attacks and they're using the talismans that boost them as well to make things even crazier. Well now you guys you have another chest piece that does that. But yeah Okay, so let's get into it guys. And as per usual with my videos, all necessary timestamps down below. Some of these are in some crazy locations. We have to literally run for quite a while for them. Obviously not everybody watching the video has all graces unlocked. So I just run from the nearest point, run past all graces, uh, leave timestamps to everyone we run past in the video description for people who have them unlocked, who can make the route a lot shorter for them. So first things first guys, we're gonna go and get the chest which has no uh, wings on it. So you want to come to the Great Bridge North Grace Point, which is this one right here. So here we have the three path cross, one of the first ones you'll come to. And then you want to head here, guys. And literally, it's up there. So yep, this is fast travel right here, people. Well, you know you know, you want to be running around looking like a little bird. You know you want to be running around looking like a little bird. It's cool as heck. Okay, so from here, guys, obviously, Grace Point, Great Bridge North, head left. Not a far trek whatsoever. The only annoying thing about any of these, in regards to picking these up, is you know those annoying ass birds that just spam attack you with kicks, spam attack you with that horrible move where they shoot those like uh, rings at you, which is actually what the helmet boosts. Um, yeah. That's the only thing you gotta deal with. You can run past them, and then bastards there. If you can run past them, you are good. So this one is located, guys, literally right here. And there we go. So grab that, and you are good to move on. You are good to move on. Okay, so next up, guys, we're gonna grab the bracelets, which is the armwear. Uh, so you wanna come to the castle front, gr uh, Grace, which is right here, just northeast of uh, th uh, through Paths Cross. So come across this bridge. And they'll come to this grace right here. From here, guys, we're going to make our way down this path and to this pillar path waypoint right there. And then the armor is located right here. So let's go again from the uh, castle front grace point. Here we go. Jump on your mount. You want to come this way, just like so, and head uh, southeast ish. You want to run this way right here. And this is a, a quite, I don't want to say a tricky route. There's so many, it's always dark and foggy in this area. So 
you have to be careful here in which way you go. You want to swerve off to the right here instead of to the left, which you'll see in a quick second. So you can see here, guys, you want to go right here, not left, which I made that mistake so many times. And let's run up this way past these enemies. Actually, ain't got that yet. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so that'll do. So it's a grave galore. What? Okay, so keep coming this way. Keep coming this way, people, and you'll see the grace. It's just over our right shoulder. On this hill point right here. So, there we go. There's a grace. Right there. Put the pathway point, and we're heading this way. Go up here, guys, and you'll see. Um, and the bracelets are right here. So grab them. And there you go. We move on. Okay guys, so we're in Shadow Altus and you want to come to the High Road Cross Grace Point. First Grace Point you come to upon defeating Rulena. So come to here guys, we actually have to make our way around to under here. It's about under, it's about here somewhere. But to do this guys, we actually have to come through this way. So this is body of water here. We need to come through this way and then make our way around to about here. So that's where we got to go. But after this, we do want to push on to this grace because the next one is along this path right here. So yeah, we're going to go on along this path straight after. Ancient Ruins base path. So we're going to start at, again, High Road Cross. And let's go. Pull out your mount, people, and head this way. Just like so. And this is for the, the I think they're called anklets, are they? They're basically the leg armor. Boom. Even when you drop down, your wings spread out. It's pretty cool. Badass looking armor, it really is. Like I said, I've been finding these over time, and I didn't realize there was actually a fifth piece until I actually just found, well, actually, not long ago, I found the wings, which I love him because when I first found the chest piece, and I thought it's called the uh, Great Bird, but it has no wings on it. I mean, if it had wings, it'd be so much better. And then I found those wings, so yeah. Okay, so this is that body of water, go straight through this cave, and you want to ignore. All these enemies, so you just want to run straight past this poison ass bastard, run straight down this way. Now you see that yellow tree, you want to turn right here and come up this way. And then guys, we're in that body of dirty water. So from here guys, we're going to come through this one right here. And it's more or less dead ahead. So ignore all these birds there. And you'll see now are the anklets. I'm right here. You'll see this body here. They're yeah, right there. So grab that and the sprint on because we're going to gonna push on to that other grace, like I said. So keep coming around this way. Again, more enemies. More pain in the ass birds. These things are absolutely everywhere. Yeah, just keep on coming, guys. That grace is just around this corner. I think it's actually just over this hill, maybe. Yeah, there it is right there. Through a base. So I'm pretty sure now I'm being followed or I ain't going to be able to go into my thingy. Let's have a look. Okay, that's it. I can. So from here, let's get rid of that. From here, guys, we're going to make our way down here. To this grace point right here. The Temple Town Ruins. And from here, guys, we're going to push on up this way. And we're going to come to, I believe it's around, maybe it's a bit earlier. Could be there or there. Where we'll get this uh, second chest piece. So from... The Ancient Ruins base grace, we're going to go and grab now the chest piece with the wings on it, which completes the set in my opinion, completes the set. I can deal without the helmet, oh, I love those wings. So when you come this way guys, if it's the first time you come here, it's going to be two of these fire giant bastards. Um, that one shooting a bow is a bit of a pain in the ass, just jump, as soon as you see it coming towards you, just jump, there you go, simple as that. And then guys, you see the guy, actually, you know what, he's probably going to shoot me up my ass. So we want to probably come over to this pillar here and try and get behind it. it might not work in time, but hey, well, this guy here can kind of judge his attacks, he's easy to get around. And there was that bow. <laughs> there was that bow. So we're coming this way, guys. Let's keep following this path. Keep coming forward. And we'll eventually get to this grace. It's just around this corner here. This is where you pick up the map if you haven't been here already. So pick up the map there. And then come around here and you'll see the grace. That beautiful grace is right here. Yeah. Oh, it's right around this corner. Okay, it's right around this corner. 
My bad, folks. My bad, folks. It's a bit dark and foggy. Cut some slack, man. Cut some motherfucking slack. Okay, so we are here now. And again, this is the temple town ruin. So from here, guys, we're going to push slightly north and come this way. And we'll grab the chest piece. I can't remember if it's there or there, but you'll see it anyway. Okay, so come this way. Again, there's going to be loads of those pesky ass birds here. And you definitely want to avoid going right because them things absolutely obliterate. So let's take as far, as close to the left as you can possibly get. And yeah, let's do that. Keep coming this way, guys. Grab those mushrooms while you're here. And actually, guys, you'll see it right here. This is where that chest piece will be. Right there. So grab that and you are good. And we are good to move on to the helmet. Let's go. Okay, so on to the helmet and final piece, people. So from the Eno Elam outer wall, this will be the very first grace point you actually come to. We're going to make our way around to the spiral rise grace point. Now, there's going to be a grace along the way, the first rise. So we're, if you've already got this unlocked, guys, or already got that unlocked, like I said, timestamps down below. We'll play just getting here. Follow this path. Follow this path, people. Okay, so you want to come up here and come out here. Now there's going to be a hard hitting enemy here, so you may want to avoid him. You know, you can take him out, he ain't going to be much of a problem, but he's going to spring attacks at you. Well, he normally springs attacks at you. Oh, he ain't doing it, he ain't doing it today. Okay, so that's cool. Let's just run past him then. Run past him. He normally like throws like some like range attack at you. But from here, guys, we're going to run up to the left and activate this grace. Which is this one right here this should be the first rise race if you can remember correctly yes it is so we are located right here on the map Pretty cool. okay so we're actually going to run out that door that was right in front of us before we took that left to that gray so run up here and keep coming this way and you want to jump across the gap in the floor just in front of us and jump across that and there we go and then come this way just like this Trying to avoid all these enemy attacks of bane of my life, these guys are. And from here, guys, you want to make sure you're fully stocked up on half, fully stocked up on that uh, stamina, and just make a run for it. The big hitting guy up here who you can fight and take him out. This guy right here. So you just run. A good chance he won't. He normally does like a ranged attack with a lightning bolt uh, and such, and these things here as well. These things are absolutely going to have to dodge a lot of coming up here. Get your stamina back. You can. I mean, you can actually avoid them by going left and right. But they're just such annoying. Such annoying. And the worst thing is, as well, all these enemies, they um, can respawn. But this is where we're going to end up, guys, in here because there's another grace. We have all these enemies respawn every time you do this route, so yeah. And I've run it about 10 times for guys, guys. It's such a nightmare. So, yep, from the Spyro Rise Grace Point, come this way, guys. And there are some annoying ass birds up here, too. That you're going to have to try and avoid or take them out. I'll just try to run past them. I got my ass handed to me. But, yeah, we will try again for the purposes of this video. Don't really want to fight them for 10 minutes. But, hey, there's one there. And there's another one right here. Dodge there. Jump up here. Try and avoid these bammy ass attacks. Come this way, get my runes, although I had no runes. Dodge this bastard as well. Get halfway up the staircase, guys. And then you want to jump down to this here. Once here, you are safe. And run up in here. That's probably the hardest part. The whole thing completely sorted. Okay, so now, guys, we climb up this lad. What the hell? Yeah, breaking parts from the outside. Work that one out. Work that one out, people. Okay, so from here you want to come out of this door. You want to climb up these ladders right here. Shake that ass! Shake that ass! Actually, I had to change my character. I fed up with him being blue. I made a female bird. Know what I'm saying? Okay, so from here, guys, you want to jump down here. And don't hang around here because there's a hard-hitting enemy there. We can easily avoid him. From here, guys, you run up here. And there's going to be a lift right there, which we need to call. I need to call it. Probably here first time for you guys. I need to call it. Boom! Take you biatches out. Okay, so now guys, 
we need to do a little bit of maneuvering i think it's either left or right don't really matter so you can see it's there that platform you need to jump onto this platform right here and your helm will be right here for you guys to pick up and there we have it guys that is how you get the complete brave bird armor set all five pieces guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see once in my outer ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.